Hey, it's Adam, and we're in Movie Studio 16 Platinum, and I have a quick lesson I wasn't expecting to do, but I have to do it now because uh, it I have to do it before I do another different tutorial because there's a problem with Movie Studio 16 Platinum. Sometimes when you add a new font, even with, with the new Vegas Pro, this isn't an issue, uh, but with Movie Studio 16 Platinum, for some reason, when you add the newest font, like a new font, and you install it, even after you restart the computer... Uh, here's a here's a simple chalk font I've installed and we need it for the tutorial I'm about to do because we're about to do a uh, writing on a chalkboard tutorial however when you change it you can see the text right here but it doesn't actually change the text that's an issue um, that's not something we need in uh, that's that's gonna be a problem for the next video so we're gonna actually have to use the legacy text. Now the problem is, is the legacy text isn't readily available. What you have to do is go to options, but when you hit options you need to hold the control key and the shift key at the same time when you hit options and then hit preferences. And then you'll have an extra tab called internal. If you did not hold control and shift when you hit options and preferences you will not see this tab. This is a secret tab. And then you scroll all the way down to the bottom and then it says expose legacy Tyler right here you need to go to this value and hit true type in true all caps make sure you spell it right like I didn't okay true all caps and then hit OK and OK now you'll have to restart the software when you exit it out do you want to save changes I'm gonna say no and then I'm going to open Movie Studio 16 Platinum again. And then this time, when we go to Media Generators, you'll see the legacy text is right there. So the cool thing about legacy text is that bug isn't there. Now, I have every confidence they're going to fix this soon. Um, but right now, it's not fixed. So we're looking for Simple Chalk again. There we go. And now when we select Simple Chalk in the Legacy Text Editor, which is similar. It's the exact same as the other one. It's just, it's just got all the stuff kind of moved around in different spots. And it's not as easy to manipulate where the text is. But it's for the most part, everything's got the same names and kind of the color pickers are a little more tricky to use. But it's going to work gonna work just fine so now you can create if you're having trouble adding text uh, new fonts installing new fonts and getting them to work install the new font um, go ahead and exit out of movie studios first and after you install the font and then add this legacy back and you should be ready to edit that was a short one I just needed to do that so we could do the actual tutorial thank you for watching I'll see you next time